If you go to any art forum right now, chances you will probably come across a thread of artists going back and forth about what is more important, the tools or the skills of the artists behind the tools. And for the case of the 3D community, the story is no different. But if you want to find a real answer, you can simply take a sneak peek into big studios like Ubisoft and see what kind of 3D software they use and get a real answer for the question of tools versus skills. For the longest time now, Ubisoft have been using a software that we are all familiar with, and that is 3D Studio Max, and they use it to create one of the most legendary franchises of all time, like Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia. But what really separates the pros from the beginners is not the tool, but how to use it. So what's Ubisoft's history with Max, why do they even use it, and how do they really make it work for them? Before we start, I would like to mention that there is a serious lack of documentation regarding this topic. And while tracing the exact roots of the relationship between Ubisoft and Max feels like trying to find a needle in a haystack, if you dig through some of the early records, you can still find a glimpse into the early history, which stretches back to the days when it was known as Discreet 3D Studio Max, under a company that Autodesk acquired in 1999 and rebranded their iconic 3DS Max software under its umbrella. One of the early projects during which Ubisoft started using Max is the iconic 2003 Prince of Persia The Sands of Time video game, a groundbreaking title that is not only remembered for its epic storytelling, innovative gameplay mechanics, and stunning visuals, but also for being a symbolic predecessor of the Assassin's Creed series which made it a perfect ground for Ubisoft to test the software on this type of game. In a statement given by Yanis Malat, a producer at Ubisoft back then, regarding this use case, as Ubisoft brings Prince of Persia to the market, it has been extremely reassuring for our animation and design team to rely on the productivity, tool sets, and workflow of 3ds Max version over version, and its support of the demands of our production environment. Discrete is delivering excellent new features in 3ds Max 6 that Ubisoft Montreal intends to benefit from as we produce our next generation of games. But the question now is, what made it so interesting for them in the first place? Before we continue, as you all know, by now I've been using Skillshare for a while and it's been very helpful and I even launched my class recently. In some parts of the world, summer break is right around the corner which is, I think, a great time to explore your passion and hobbies. Skillshare offers a multitude of different classes from art to writing to motion graphics, game development, and everything else in between. So no matter what you have in mind, you can start today by picking a class and kickstart your learning journey. And you can go over the classes at your own pace and you get to do super fun projects with other learners as well. For me, my summer bucket list is gonna be about animation, product visualization, and motion graphics in general. So if you're like me, I suggest picking up some of the Derek Elliott's classes, who is an amazing instructor with outstanding looking results. For example, this class called Product Animation in Blender, Bring Your 3D Renders to Life, in which you will learn how to move a camera through a scene, also how to add keyframes to cameras, objects, and lighting, create looping animations, and how to explore two different ways to render your final piece. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and be one of the first 500 people to have a full and free month of Skillshare premium subscription and have access to anything you want. And now back to the video. The first reason I think which makes Ubisoft use Max, and it's probably not gonna shock anyone, and that is the fact that it is straight up an excellent industry standard software for 3D modeling and animation especially, with a historical track record of being used across almost every industry under the sun. Max is known for being an absolute Swiss army knife, and it is packed with a ridiculous amount of tools that can basically create anything you want especially in video games, such as animation features like the Cat Toolkit, a unique and incredible character animation system, despite not receiving any updates in recent years. There's also custom rigging with bones and helpers, in addition to inverse kinematics, forward kinematics, as well as animation layers, a constraint system, and the whole nine yards. 
And the same thing can be said about modeling. It is even considered to be probably the best modeling tool in the market by many professionals. I mean among industry standard software, with a set of tools that can honor this reputation, with of course the expected standard primitives, poly editing, and the use of modifiers, as well as subdivision surfaces, procedural modeling, the new advanced Boolean features, among many other things that probably need a video on its own. One of the things that makes studios interested in Max is Max Script. And if you're wondering what is that, it is a built-in scripting language inside Max, which provides you with the ability to script most aspects of the program's features, such as modeling, animation, creating materials, rendering, and so on. And if we check some of the job posts from Ubisoft, we can see many of them asking for experience in Max Script. A potential explanation for this is probably to create new tools with it or to make their production pipelines more effective or to fix already existing tools. On the other hand, Max is a software they have been using for a long time now, and we are talking about decades-long relationships at this point, and it has just become deeply injected into the DNA of some of the biggest money-making franchises such as Assassin's Creed and so on. I mean, why change something that already works? It is also a software that has proved itself within many game development studios and was part of their success, with probably many in-house tools built around it. And after many years, it becomes really hard to remove a tool from a pipeline. Also, especially knowing that creating a video game, for example, can take from 3 to 6 years on average, and only between finishing and starting a new project, you get a new opportunity to change your pipeline and your 3D software, which means you don't have a lot of opportunities to do that. Now, here is the thing. Identifying how a tool is used throughout the entire studio can be a bit of a head scratcher. I mean, after all, Every artist has their own methods and unique ways of creating something that is exclusive to them, because at the end of the day, what matters the most is the final result. However, we could, at the very least, break it down a bit and identify some of the core elements where Ubisoft uses 3ds Max, and in the forefront of this, we have 3D modeling. And let's take the Assassin's Creed series as an example. So, to make open world games of that quality, you need many qualified environment artists. And if you look around, for example, in ArtStation, you will see that the majority of environment artists that worked, for example, on Assassin's Creed Mirage used 3ds Max for creating the environments. And while some of the other favorite tools like Maya, ZBrush, or even Blender are great tools, the artists at Ubisoft Studios prefer to use Max due to some of the features it offers, such as the modifiers it has, flexibility of modeling, and the ability to create scripts that help 3D modelers create assets and environments with ease. And this made it very popular as the best 3D software for creating assets in the video game industry. In a comparable fashion, while Maya stands tall as a standard for character animation in the video game development industry, it's only natural for it to be used by studios and be the number one choice for the majority of them. In Ubisoft, however, Max is still a software that is used for this task, as we can see through some of the animator job posts made by the company. But how does that work? To do this, the animators have a couple of things under their sleeves. Sometimes they will go the old school and use traditional animation techniques like keyframing, manual animations, and so on. And sometimes, and I should say most often, they use motion capture data as a base and then they further enhance it. And sometimes, raw mockup data can feel a bit sluggish and lacks the visual impact that we all crave in those over the top action sequences. So, animators typically use a tool like Max in combination with motion capture software such as Motion Builder, which is commonly used most with Maya. One thing to keep in mind is that Ubisoft's games are usually history driven games, which are all about telling these epic stories with cinematic cutscenes, which are very important to help you engage in the experience and to create a mood that matches the high caliber of game production. And while the final renders of these cutscenes are typically created in Ubisoft's own Anvil game engine, many elements of these scenes and cutscenes are done using Max. For example, the opening cutscene of the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, in which many assets were created and animated using Max. And there you have it, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.